The third principle that this course is structured around is that learning is an intrinsically social activity. We know from lots of research on how people learn that learning works best when it's done with others. You all know the feeling you get when you and some study buddies are getting the zone and bouncing ideas off of each other and benefiting from the discussion. It's awesome. My goal is to replicate that experience in our classroom, both synchronously and asynchronously. Moreover, as described in the section on grading below, my grading scheme reflects the importance of teamwork. There are activities in class on which you are encouraged to work with your peers. Moreover, there is no curve in this class, only thresholds. It doesn't matter if you do better or worse than the average, only if you are meeting the thresholds. As such, there's no penalty to yourself for helping your peers. In fact, you're most likely going to benefit. I mean, as the old adage says, the best way to learn something is to teach it, right? So during synchronous class sessions, if you attend, you will be given the chance to work with your peers on the problems, either in organized teams and in Zoom breakout rooms or self-selected groups in whatever communication channels you choose. If you're attending primarily asynchronously, I also offer to help you form a team with others in the class with whom you can work based upon schedules, etc. Particularly in these times of physical distancing, I would encourage you to take advantage of these groups to help you feel connected to the course and help keep you focused. However, membership in an organized team is not required. Teams are opt-in. If you want to just go it alone and work with whomever you can find, you can do that. You must indicate that you would like to be on a team. Let's learn some more about the teams to help you make your decision. 